a bomb threat against a Jewish community center. We're going to take you live to the scene. A family escapes a house fire, but their stockpile of Girl Scout cookies burned to a crisp. 10 News has a live report from Chula Vista. President Trump about to name his Supreme Court nominee. What we know about the two top choices next. And tons of dirt tumbled down a Hollywood hillside. The threat to homes and lives. 10 News begins with breaking news. And our breaking news is in La Jolla right now, where the Jewish Community Center just got a bomb threat. I'm Jason Martinez. I'm Virginia Cha. That center is evacuated now. Let's go to 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina live. Steve? The uh, frightening moments here apparently just about over. They uh, spent an hour and 45 minutes sweeping the building and at a quarter to 11 reopened for business. They got the bomb threat about 9 o'clock. They immediately contacted San Diego Police Department. Uh, we've got Sky 10 overhead as well. As you can see, there is now traffic going in and out of the Jewish Community Center here. This is an area where people have uh, preschool daycare. They've also got uh, gym facilities around back. There is some ball field. There, um, they decided they were, as soon as they got the uh, bomb threat, protocol said to shut it down, evacuate the building and contact police. They did all that. They swept the building, did not find any evidence. This is one of several bomb threats or scares over the last several months. Today, targeting the uh, uh, Larry Lawrence Jewish Community Center here, Jacobs Family Campus of the Lawrence Family Jewish Community Center in La Jolla. And, uh, getting everyone out quietly, keeping them calm, and now they've uh, allowed them all to go back in. We've uh, talked with a couple of people, and we will be sharing that with you later about their feelings about this. One man told me that uh, he expects it. You have to live with it. He is not angry, but he wished it wouldn't happen. Live in La Jolla, Steve Fiorina, 10 minutes. Thank you, Steve. Now to this breaking news update, a Chula Vista family lost almost everything to an early morning fire in their home, and that includes a thousand boxes of Girl Scout cookies. The flames started out in the garage, but then quickly spread to a bedroom in the living room. 10 News anchor Robert Santos is there right now this morning to show us the outpouring of support to help the family get through this tough time. Yeah, it is that support that has really kept this family uh, through, uh, going through this uh, in stride. Now, they have allowed us to show you up close the damage to their garage. Look inside. Everything is gone. And we'll show you, too. There are the boxes of Girl Scout cookies that we're talking about. I mean, 1,000 cookies, 1,000 boxes. We're talking about $6,000 uh, worth. Now, uh, the flames not only destroyed the garage here, but I want to show you over here inside that bedroom. That's the oldest daughter's bedroom. So she was sleeping at the time. And then you see this here, unsafe. So the house has definitely been red tagged at this point. So that oldest daughter, along with her two sisters, mom and dad, all got out alive. Flames started in the garage, but the video here is showing quickly just how, how it spread to the bedroom and living room. 22 firefighters from six different fire stations fought hard to get it under control. Dad was able to wake up his wife and three daughters. They all escaped from the back of the house along with their pets. They say their evacuation plan was part of the reason they got out safely. So here's what happened. Dad fell asleep watching TV in the living room. He woke up to the smell of smoke and he noticed the TV was off. So he thought a plug behind the TV was burning. But when he checked, he didn't see anything wrong until several, several seconds later. I uh, started looking around the house and my kitchen lights weren't working and I couldn't figure it out. And then I looked outside and I saw smoke coming out of my garage. So again, all those cookies, uh, the girls, yeah, they're all Girl Scouts. Mom's a troop leader, so the $6,000 worth of cookies the troop bought was being stored here. Now the troop has started a GoFundMe page to help make that money back and to help the family get back on their feet. We've got a link on 10news.com and our red TV uh, button there that you could check. So what has sparked the fire here? Initially right now, investigators are thinking that it is an electrical problem in the garage that started all of this. Reporting live in Chula Vista, Robert Santos, 10 News. Or Robert, thank you. And happening right now, Operation Reclaim and Rebuild. Law enforcement agencies teaming up, announcing 38 arrests made in an effort to put an end to sex trafficking of young women and girls in our county. 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala is live downtown with those results. Mimi?
Yeah, Jason. Well, the most important part of this whole operation is to rescue children who are brought into this lifestyle. And here in San Diego County, one girl age 16 was rescued after being sex trafficked for two years, since 2014, actually. And now she can reclaim and rebuild her life, which is the whole idea behind this operation. Another woman was also rescued. They're trying to put an end to the supply and demand of human trafficking. It's an $810 million industry here, just second to drug trafficking. The supply exists because officials say the demand is so great and more than half of sex trafficking happens on the internet so that's where the agency's really focused with nine operations in just two days fake ads were for sex were posted online offering sex for money when these men showed up at a hotel expecting to buy a person for their own sexual gratification they got a big surprise Instead, they were greeted by police, arrested, and booked in jail. So here in San Diego, 38 arrests were made. That included 22 Johns, 8 women for prostitution, and 8 pimps. The agencies want to remind families at home to really watch out for their children's internet use. Reporting live downtown, Mimi Alcala, 10 News.